Hello, Aries viewers. Going to look into your story. This could be a past person, present person, new person coming in. Just see what the cards want to say. This could be about money, too. Just whatever the cards want to say. I feel like a lot of you are in a very intuitive phase right now, too, where you're, you're coming into new psychic abilities. Sorry, just bear with my camera for a minute. It just got to adjust to the to the pictures. But I feel like a lot of you are coming into psychic abilities. I feel like October is... I keep hearing, like, spiritual gift. Like, you're going to have... Like, if you're clairsentient, you're going to suddenly be clairaudient or claircognizant. Um, or you're going to start having prophetic dreams. It's like some kind of untapped psychic ability is going to become a lot stronger for you in October is what I'm feeling. We have codependency, stagnation, complacency, fear of commitment, spying. Third-party distraction, manipulation, deception, anger, miscommunication. So there's a warning about a third party for some of you. And a third party isn't always, it isn't always a person. A third party could also just be, it could be work. It could be something that kind of just takes you off your path. It's just some kind of third-party outside energy, basically. So what I'm getting here is that we have these two people that are addicted to each other. They're in love with each other. You see this passion here. It's like this, you know, I see this as like passion, romance, um, connection. In this, in this context, I'm seeing this as a positive thing. But somebody, somebody's being stagnant because of the fear of commitment. But they are spying on you. They are checking in on you. And I think the warning here is some of them think that you're with somebody else because there was a rumor that was spread. So some of you might have tried to make your person jealous, like on social media or something, and it kind of backfired because now they think that you have someone. Or there could be like a jealous friend of yours or, or like a family member even that's, you know, telling your masculine like, oh yeah, she he or she likes to... Uh, masculine or feminine, you just, just whatever gender you are, it doesn't matter. They're just energies. So take it as it resonates, but it's like, there might be like a toxic friend or family member, or it could be like a third party that's trying to get in this person's head, this person that's spying on you. Cause I feel like there's some kind of miscommunication here. There's some kind of, so you have some really good and bad energies coming in within the next couple of weeks. Cause there's some kind of warning about miscommunication here. I'm going to look more into it, but I just want to say it's like somebody misses you they're longing for you they have this deep desire just to be close to you but they're stagnant because of fear and the thing is that their fear is not I mean it might partially be coming from themselves like it might partially be internal fear like their you know their own insecurities their own past what they've been through but I'm getting that a lot of their fear is actually coming from this manipulative deceptive energy whatever this third party energy is now, this could be a coworker, this could be a friend of yours, a family member, someone that's just jealous of you and they just kind of want to wants to sabotage you. They might be whispering in your person's ear and saying, oh, she actually, she, she flirts with everybody or she's, I know she's sleeping with somebody else too. Um, she has multiple options or, or he has multiple options. You know, you're not everything to them. You're just, you know, it, it's just kind of like rumors are being spread. I get the energy of rumors. There's some kind of third party energy here that's trying to cause, you see this person, it's like they're, they're blindfolded. This woman is whispering in this person's ear and she doesn't even realize that she's being deceived and manipulated because she has this blindfold on. So she doesn't even know what's going on. She might think this is a friend of hers, but it's error. She might think this is someone that has her best interest at in mind. So this could be someone that like messages you too and says like, you know, tries to convince you that your person's cheating on you or your person doesn't love you or this could be vice versa. Someone's just trying to dig up dirt and someone's trying to create drama, but it's an illusion because I'm getting that this is like a third party energy. So you, you know, you might think that this person's your friend, but they're either lying to you or they're lying to your person behind your back because there's some kind of miscommunication here. 
you know, this, these, this couple, they love each other. They want to be together, but there's some kind of miscommunication that you need to be aware of. So, so, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer kind of energy. Be careful who you talk to. Because some of you might genuinely love this person, but maybe you're tired of waiting for them, so you're you're talking to somebody else. Maybe you're telling your best friend or a family member about like how you you know you you're considering other options or you're um, going out and dating or some something just for some of you. And it's like they're going right back and reporting. It's like I see these two people behind the scenes that are sneaking behind your back. Take it as it resonates, though, because this could also be your person. Your per someone's, you know, behind your person's back. Um, but I'm feeling like there's just some kind of miscommunication here. Yeah, so this is basically the energy of don't let other people ruin something that's real for you. Because th this energy is just jealous and petty. And it's irrelevant. It's completely irrelevant energy. Don't even take it seriously. Um, because we have miscommunication. There's, there's true love here. This is a potential life partner. This is, this is true love, but there's people around that are jealous. Now this is either on your person's side or this is on your side. So this could be a third party of yours. This could be like a, someone you're married to, or this could be someone or someone that you're in, you know, process of divorcing. This could be, um, you know, just some kind of third party situation, or this could be your person's you know, on your person's side too. Take it how it resonates. But but yeah, it's basically the energy of, you know, be careful who you trust. Really watch your back because there's some sneaky energies right now going on for you guys during Mercury Retrograde. Um, and you're going to have to kind of just ride it out and be strong. And you're going to have to, I think you're going to have to go inward. I think Mercury Retrograde is really going to force you to go inward and ask yourself some important questions like, Let's say that this rumor comes around from this person that's trying to separate you. So this could be them, like I said, this could be them telling your person a rumor about you. Or this could be them telling you a rumor about your person. And you need to stop and you need to be intuitive and ask yourself, like, do I believe that? Does that resonate for me? Or does this seem like a toxic person that, you know, is out to get me? Like, is this like an aunt that seems like they never want to see me happy like they, you know, they, it seems like they're giving me good advice, but it seems like their advice always misleads me or, you know, like maybe like this is like a best friend that you always vent to, but when good things happen for you, you just get this intuitive nudge that he or she doesn't really feel happy for you. Like they're not, they don't, they don't get happy when you get happy. They don't get sad when you get sad. They just, they kind of just want to, it's like a friend of me type energy. So, you know, this retrograde is really going to force you this is a lesson for you about using your intuition, which I think is going to be part of why you're going to have these intuitive gifts um, that are coming to you in October, because you're going to be forced to go inward and meditate and connect with yourself and connect with your heart. Some of you have really damaged heart chakras right now, and you need to do some, some healing work on your heart chakra and maybe some other chakras like the root chakra I'm feeling for some as well. Um, could be throat and third eye there's there's a few at least but um you know what I'm feeling is and you can do this at home too don't let anyone convince you that you have to go to someone to do that like yeah there's professionals that can do it really well for you but I mean you can learn to clear your chakras at home too there's you know stones and crystals you can use and there are a lot of um good binaural beat channels on YouTube like good vibes binaural beats is one good channel and uh, Meditative Mind is another good channel. I think they both have uh, chakra healing meditations that you can do. You know, so I'd really, you know, focus on going inward and connecting with your intuition during Mercury Retrograde. Because there's going to be drama and rumors and chaos all around you. And you're going to really need to go inward and decide for yourself what feels right for you. And like I said, you're going to be blessed with these, these gifts. Like some kind of major spiritual gift. Like Clary Audience or something of that sort. Because, you know, of your willingness to, to end this karmic cycle and to trust yourself, to put yourself first and to go inward and not listen. You know, you're being challenged during Mercury Retrograde not to listen to the rumors and the drama, not to be impressionable, but to just go inward and ask yourself, like, how do I feel about this person? Do I feel like this rumor is true? Like, do I believe this rumor? Um, is this who is who is telling me this rumor? Is this somebody that I trust? Is this, how does my body feel around this person? Do I feel 
relaxed around them or just something has something always just kind of felt a little bit off about this person and I couldn't quite put my finger on it but you know part of me feels like maybe they don't have my best interest in mind like has this person misled me before it's like you're gonna have to go inward and really ask yourself how you feel you're gonna have to separate from what other people think because there's gonna be a lot of chatter lots of drama lots of rumors you're gonna have to go inward ask yourself how do you feel about this person you know, is this your potential life partner? Is this your true love? You're going to have to ask yourself that. And I think for most of you, the answer is going to be yes. But it's, it's going to be something that you're going to have these epiphanies about on your own. It's like, you're going to have to step back because some of you might get some information that's like shocking, but it's not going to be true. You feel me? So like some of you, like this person might say like, oh, your person's cheating or like they might tell you either way. Someone's, I feel something about that. Like, like someone's going to tell you that you're being cheated on or they're cheating and it's not actually true. It's just someone that wants to bring you down. Um, but again, you're going to have to use your own intuition. That's going to be the challenge here is to go inward and decide how you feel about this person. You know, you're, it's, it's a challenge to really um, to trust yourself, to put yourself first, to, to quiet the outside noise and chowder and decide what you feel. And I think you're going to be challenged just to figure this out yourself, honestly. But it's a really beautiful thing because, like I said, you're going to have psychic gifts coming in because of it. Because it's like you're going to reach this breakthrough where you're like, wow, I actually just channeled. Like some of you are going to channel and you, you, you're not used to – maybe you've channeled before but you're not used to channeling. Um, or like you might meditate and get like visuals or something or like have like a prophetic dream and you're going to be like, damn, I'm not used to that. And like – you know what I mean? Like you're going to, you're going to level up psychically, like telepathically, or some of you might like astral travel for the first time, um, something of that nature. So it's a really beautiful energy, but yeah, you're going to, you're going to be challenged to use your intuition. That's your lesson is trusting yourself over all the noise and chatter and drama and ru rumors going on around you, just being able to go inward and find your own truth and, you know, figure out what feels right for you. That's this challenge here. Traps, blocks, tied up. Yeah, it's going to take some willpower and strength and confidence to take this blindfold off and to find the truth yourself. Waiting, hoping, praying. Yeah, I feel like something you've been waiting for is coming around too. I feel like this is someone that you've been waiting on and I feel like this, this person's going to choose love over fear. They're going to decide that the risk is worth it to them because you're, being, because you're both being adults and clearing up this miscommunication. So that's the thing is like, Maybe they're afraid, maybe, you know, this, like I said, it could be either way. It could be that someone that you're close to or someone they're close to told them a rumor. They told them a lie and told them that you're, you're not loyal or you're not waiting for them like they think you are, or, um, you know, you're not who you seem to be. Like someone's trying to, someone might be trying to get in your person's head, but I feel like you're going to have this maturity and intuition and it's like you guys are going to communicate and open things up. So they're going to realize like, oh, I'm not going to get my heart broken if I choose love over fear. This actually is worth it. Um, well, like I said, it could be the other way around where this person might be coming to you to cause drama and tell your person's not trustworthy and you're going to have to decide what you want. But I feel like someone's making a move. I feel like either you or them, like someone's been waiting for this this relationship to um, either you guys are together, but you've been waiting for it to get to the next level or you're like not in contact right now or there's like minimal contact, but you keep waiting for it to like reach that next peak. And I feel like it's finally about to, you know, something you've been waiting for is is coming. Um, yeah, it's like this person's been overthinking and overanalyzing and self-sabotaging and that might be part of their lessons, part of their soul contracts, or it could be you that's been doing this and you've been, you've been afraid of rejection. You know, someone's been trying to just focus on finances um, and ignore this connection, but it's not going to work. Yeah, there's been like a power struggle where it's like, you don't want to reach out to them. They don't want to reach out to you. But someone, what's happening next with this though? Because we got vulnerability and receptivity. What's happening next with this? Yeah, someone is going to have a, a dream. And well, what's going to happen with this dream? Yeah, someone's going to have a dream, I feel. Because, you know, there are upsides to Mercury Retrograde where it's like there's a lot of confusion, but I feel like... I feel like there's going to be like a dream here that comes through. Like, you're, like someone's spirit guides are going to break through and give either you or your person a dream. And that's going to make them realize that like, hey, I've been isolating and I've been alone for no reason. I've been, you know, not living my best life. I've been cutting other people out for no reason. 
and they're gonna feel vulnerable and nostalgic because this psychic dream is gonna come in and give them some kind of clarity. It's like they're gonna straight up communicate. You guys might just like dream walk together. You might like straight up communicate with each other in, in your dreams. There's a very deep psychic energy here where um, there's a breakthrough. I just get like major breakthrough energy where whoever this person is, this third party, you know, could be a lover, could be your ex lover, could be their ex lover, but it could also be a family member or a friend or just something, some kind of energy that wants to take you guys apart from each other. I feel like it's going to lose. Like it's going to give it, whoever this person is, they're going to give it everything. They're going to try to, they're going to try to spread rumors. They're going to try to spread, you know, lots of lies, but something your spirit guides are going to break through is what I'm feeling with this, with dreams, visions, telepathy. And someone's going to realize that like they've been isolating themselves and they're going to get nostalgic. They're going to be like, wow, like I should have trusted my person. Yeah. New love, faded encounter. Like, renewed love is what I'm getting. Yeah, clubs, parties, social life, uh, mental instability. Sex, seduction. Okay, this is interesting energy. Yeah, some of them have been, like, let's see. Some of them have been trying to make themselves feel better, but they're going to pause and they're going to reflect. And they're going to have a new perspective. Some of them are also, some of them that think that you cheated, like they think that you're just partying and you're like cheating or whatever, they're going to pause and they're going to have this new perspective. And they're going to finally listen and understand because for some of them for so long, their insecurities were getting the best of them where they just assumed they weren't good enough for you. They just assumed what the karmic was telling them, whatever. It's like, and some of them are going to actually finally pause and go inward and meditate and be like, wait a minute, like this isn't this isn't what I thought it was. They're gonna pause, they're gonna reflect, they're gonna rest, and they're gonna go inward, and they're gonna have these epiphanies. And they're gonna finally listen to their intuition, to their dreams. Some of them, the karmic is trying to implant dreams in your mind or your person's mind. Like they're trying to give you guys nightmares, they're trying to give someone nightmares to mislead them and make them think the worst or make them fear the worst. But I feel like you guys are gonna have a breakthrough within the next few weeks with that. Like, I just feel like there's some kind of major breakthrough where it's like they're going to keep trying to do that, but it's not going to work. Like something, there's going to be some kind of major dream that I feel takes place in the next couple of weeks or so. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> and I feel like that's going to like make someone, there's like some kind of truth that's revealed and it could be a vision. Like you might have a vision or your person might have a vision. Or like they might go to a psychic and get a reading on you and they're going to have a really good reading and it's going to make sense to them because maybe they, they have toxic people around them that are trying to confuse them and they're going to step back and go to a real psychic and they're going to have this like clarity come in. Because I just feel like some kind of, there's some kind of psychic clarity, like someone, it's like a little battle over the next few weeks, if that makes sense, like kind of back, forth, back, forth, and then you reach the peak and you're good. Does that make sense? It's like... It's almost like your spirit guides are fighting with the karmic and her, his or her energies. It's like this person's trying to cause this like dark cloud in your person's mind or a dark cloud in your mind, like trying to make them doubt their intuition. And your spirit guides are trying to break, some of the spirit guides are trying to break through that and cut away all the fog and all the illusion, all the chaos, drama, rumors, confusion. And I feel like it's going to be a little bit of a battle for a couple weeks, but then something's going to happen, like a major breakthrough where there's not going to be any more, like, everything's going to be exposed out in the open. You know what I mean? Like, let's say that um, your sp the spirit guides are fighting the um, this karmic energy or whatever. He, you know, family member, friend, lover, whatever. They're, they're fighting this karmic energy that wants to separate you two. And... Um, you know, it's just, it's just kind of back and forth for a little bit. It's, but it's like, it's like there's, your spirit guides are so much stronger than the karmic spirit guides. That's what I feel. The karmic is very weak, very powerless. She's just good at illusion, but that's it. But the illusion's being cleared up is what I'm saying. The illusion is being cleared up. The truth, truth is coming to light, like major truth. So I almost feel like it's like a situation where there's like a little back and forth battle here and there where it's like, you know, your person or you, you feel kind of confused. Like you feel like you're in a fog can't figure things out you feel like someone's trying to hex you or trying to do something to you um you feel like a off energy 
or your person feels this off energy, however it might play out, or maybe you're like your dreams are just kind of nonsense, which sometimes happens with Mercury retrograde. So like, don't take it if it doesn't resonate. I mean, don't, don't assume everything is from the karmic, you know what I mean? Like you'll, you should know if it is or not, I think. But, um, you know, use your interest, intuition. The couple, that next couple of weeks is all about you learning to really trust and use your intuition and put your intuition first, finally. But, um, and what I was saying is it's kind of like a little back and forth, a little fight back and forth. And then there's this beautiful breaking point where, um, where it's like, let's say that the, the karmic is trying to do these like chaos spells or something, or the karmic's trying to, you know, spreading lies or spreading rumors. And, and your person or you, you suddenly have a dream about what they're doing. Like, like almost like you're there, like you can like remote view, like you see it. Um, or your person does like your person, you know, like your person has a dream that the car, that this karmic is like, you know, doing a black magic on them or, you know, some kind of truth is going to be revealed behind the scenes, like through dreams or visions or some kind of telepathic communication. This could even be you telepathically communicating with your person, but I'm getting more like it's like spirit guides, like, like someone's spirit guides are just going to come through really strong and be like, hey, wait a minute. No, this is what's really going on. Listen, understand. And then there's going to be some kind of perspective shift where your person was afraid or you were afraid of getting hurt. Someone was really afraid of getting rejected because of rumors that were spread and because of all the chaos going around from, from some kind of jealous karmic person. And those are going to be cleared up where it's like it might be through a dream, but there's going to be some kind of major epiphany here. And it might not be a dream for everybody. For some, it might just be like an intuitive epiphany where it's like you put everything together and you're like, oh, wait, this is what's happening, you know? So it's like, you know, the truth is going to be revealed. The karmic, you know, whoever this karmic is, they can try all they want, but the truth is going to come out. So it's like whatever lies and rumors they've been telling, like everyone's going to, everyone's going to know, everyone's going to find out. Um, and this could be that the karmic has something on your person or they have something on you and you're kind of afraid that they're going to tell everybody. And it's going to be one of those things where it's like maybe they will tell everybody, but like they're going to end up looking stupid. Like they're, it's going to backfire on them basically. Some kind of major truth is being revealed um, psychically here. So it's a beautiful energy. Trust your intuition. Um, once this breakthrough comes, I feel like your person's going to be a lot braver coming forward towards you or, you know, vice versa. Maybe you're the one that's hesitant because you don't know how they feel because of all this chaotic energy that this, this jealous person's sending out right now. Um, you know, rumors or whatnot, but, but yeah, I feel like, I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough and then whoever was afraid is going to not really be afraid anymore or like not, not to the same degree that they were because they're going to realize that this jealous person was lying. So it's a really beautiful energy. And as always, if you want a private reading, please email me. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. My email is right below in the description box. So you can just copy and paste it. And I do, um, in-depth private videos for, uh, 30 or 30 minutes, 30 plus minutes. A lot of times I go on to like an hour or so, but it's 30 minute minimum and it's $50 and it's a private recorded video and I'll answer all your questions. I'll go in depth into your person, what, what you're feeling, what they're feeling, whatever you want to know. Um, just send me an email and I thank you guys for watching and please uh, subscribe if it resonates and please donate. My donation links are below. Thank you.